This is a scale model of Beijing at 1 to 750. Outside the model, they have aerial photographs at the same scale. You can see the zoo here is halfway between the photographs and the model. Forbidden City is here. I don't know why they chose to locate their air conditioning unit in the middle view so you can't really look directly down on the Forbidden City. Typical Chinese engineering and ill-planned uh, building here. <laughs> it's like totally ridiculous. Um, we are I walk a little further. Well, I'll point some things out first while we're looking north-south. So if you're wondering where the Olympic Village is, it's here to the north. There's the National Stadium. The airport's out this way into the northwest. The business district is here. And the Forbidden City is here. The palaces are here and the uh, gates are here and then below it Tiananmen Square is here. So let me walk around now the eastern side of the city and I can point out where we are. Okay, Tiananmen Square is here. We're down here just off chain men. Mao's mausoleum is there. I just watched the uh, movie that they show here. That gives you an overview of the city. In my opinion, Beijing has no soul because there's no river. Uh, I think in ancient times there may have been a river system flowing through what are now these uh, series of lakes from Huahai down to uh, South Sea Lake there. It's been channeled underground if it is the one they mentioned in the video. Tianjin is the port city. It's about 40 miles, I think 52 kilometers from here. Um, the problem you have with putting your palace at the center is it's great if you're the king you're in the center of everything but if you're the proletariat especially in a modern city and you have to get from point A to point B for instance I'm staying up here in the Dongcheng district so if I want to get uh, from here down to Changmen well I've got to go to line 6 to line 5 to line 1 you know just to get around the city because you've got to have the uh, metro ringing the palace and the ring roads and everything. Yeah, it's not an efficient system for getting around a city. Um, okay, fine if you're going to lay out your streets in a grid pattern and have your buses run cross town and north south and then have a uh, metro system that's swastika shaped so you can get across town with the central depot in the middle for your your subway system. but they don't do that because of the palace in the middle. They don't want to run it through the palace. There is a line that kind of runs through the palace, but it's not really efficient. You want to have like, uh, like Washington DC has got a sort of swastika shape to it. So if you're, whatever way you're coming in, you have a central depot, you come in this way. Most of the time you want to get to the city center from the suburbs, you're coming in from the suburbs, right? and you're weaving in and then uh, you shoot out for whatever direction you might want to go in on from a central station. So it's got that disadvantage to it. it makes it a nightmare to get around, creates traffic problems, etc. So they talked about some of the solutions they're working on in the video. But when you have a population of going on 18 million, I think, uh, plus the mountains to uh, the east, north, um, and west. 
uh, the the west, north, and north and east, surrounded on three sides by mountains. And you've got tropical air moving in from the South China Sea. It's really on the North China Sea that's out here. So polar air meeting the tropical air. They hit each other. They get forced inland. They hit the mountains. Comes up. Comes back down. You get a funneling of bad air, just like you have in the San Francisco Bay Area, except there it gets pushed inland away from San Francisco, and the bad air hits like Chico and the Central Valley. It has some of the worst air in the country because of it. And that's what happens here in Beijing because it's inland. So you get horrible air quality. Probably the worst air in China, maybe the world. They finally admitted it and recognize that they have a problem. Now they just have to work on cleaning it up. But anyway, I'm staying in the Dongcheng area here. And uh, the old capital of Dadu during the Mongol reign was essentially shortened during the um, Ming takeover in 1368, they shortened the uh, imperial city, and then this was during the Qing, the Manchu enclave, and then the ethnic Han, the Chinese, lived in this area here. So you have nine gates around forbidden imperial city, and seven around the uh, old town Chinese section. The Chinatown, as you might call it. And now you have the downtown business district out here. And the uh, Olympic Village over here to the north. <clears throat> Several train stations around, scattered around. As I mentioned, the zoo. Where's the zoo? Oh yeah, it's cut off here. The aquarium's there and the zoo is here. Military museum's down there. So now we're looking out towards Tianjin down that way. In the North China Sea, about 52 kilometers if I remember right. So now we're looking due east. The uh, system of setting up a city like this, I think, is based on Cheyenne, the ancient city of Cheyenne. And uh, because of a haphazard layout in the uh, area surrounding the imperial city, you have a lot of what they call hutongs, that is the uh, word for alley in uh, Putanghua. Beijing's famous for its hutong areas, which are alleyways that, uh, like in the area I'm staying in, in Nanlu, Guxiang, there's a uh, pedestrianized street with radiating hutongs off of it, off which are courtyard homes. See He Yuan, the courtyard homes that uh, your average um, low to middle class, upper middle class families lived in. Most of which have been lost, but there are pockets of them around. There's a famous pocket of them, of them just south of Qianmen area here. There's pockets of them over here by Prince Gong's mansion. And again, where I'm staying. And the master plan for 2020 of Beijing is what we're looking at here. This is the Beijing of the future. Some of this stuff hasn't been built yet. Plans to revitalize a lot of the, the hutong. So <clears throat> they're preserving some of the, the old city, what's left of it. Most of the city walls have been torn down. Unfortunately, yesterday I walked a piece of them over by uh, the southeast corner tower. <clears throat> I walked from uh, the 
Let's see, the southeast corner tower would be right about there. There's the Beijing Railway Station. So I went to the ancient solar observatory here, walked down to the corner tower there. And this stretch of city wall is probably the best preserved piece that you can get. There's several gates that have been preserved, like Qianmen Gate down here, and uh, the Drum Tower. Uh, and Bell Tower. And uh, Arrow Tower up there. Where is it there? And a lot of the uh, names you'll see, anytime you see M-E-N, men, that's gate, that means city gate. A lot of the subways are preserving the names of the city gates. So, in a nutshell, that is Beijing. There is the workers' stadium. And today I went to the Dong Yue Miao Temple, which I think is this one here. I was trying to find it, and I wasn't exactly sure. I think it's about here. I'm going to go see if I can get into the... Uh, Tower here now. They probably did their last admission at four, so I'll just take a little bit of a walk around Tiananmen Square. Go to the Martyrs Monument. That's the National Museum there. That's the uh, Tiananmen Gate here. Is what they named the square after. There's also a nice area, but of a uh, restored old city in here that's worth walking in. DJ, DJ Lan, is it? DJ Lan section of the city. So I've explored now uh, sections of the city. Oh yeah, I didn't point out the highest point in the city. This hill here, Jingshan, was built with earth excavated from the moat around Forbidden City. And that's where the Ming, last Ming Emperor hung himself as the Manchu closed in on the city. The Manchu or the Qing Dynasty. So I've explored uh, the area around here, Lama Temple, Confucius Temple, Earth Temple. Um, I've done the east. I've done most of this stuff. I did the South Cathedral today. <clears throat> it's a lot to do out here. And then get a little farther afield. And I haven't done Forbidden City, of course, yet. 